Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect the user sys in different methods. Remember, the user sys is a super user of the database. So I'm going to show you three different methods on how to connect the user sys. So let's start by opening a new terminal. You can either right click and open new terminal. In my own case, I already created um, a shortcut on the desktop. So I'll just go ahead and double click. And then I have my new terminal. So the first method is to do this SQL plus space slash as sysdba. You can see the user sys is connected to an idle instance. But there's one striking thing about this type of connection. If you observe, we did not put the password. Now, this is because we are connected to the same host machine. We are logged on on the host machine um, where the database is installed. So in which case, the authentication is done at the operating system level. Okay, so because I've been authenticated, at the OS level, I don't need to impute my password as the sys user. And this is made possible through the help of what is known as a password file. Okay, I'm going to be giving you more details you know, as we go further in this lecture. So this is one method to connect the user sys. Okay, so the second method, the second way to connect the user sys is by typing connect. And then it's a request for my username, of course, sys, as sysdba. And then I'll type the password. You can see connected to an IDO instance. Okay, so let's look at the third way of connecting the user sys. Okay, so for me to show you the third method on how to connect to the database, um, let me just go ahead and start up the database, okay? Um, because I want to alter my password to something simpler so you don't get to see my real password. Okay, so our database is opened. So I'm going to do this, alter user sys identified by Ebony. So user has been altered successfully. So let me try to connect. Connect sys slash Ebony as sys DBA. You can see I'm still connected. However, this method is not recommended because it compromises your security. So you can use any other method to connect, but avoid using this last method to connect because your password is exposed and it's not good for your database security. Okay. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to connect using the easy connect method. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.